Happy Halloween and welcome back to a new video. I'm really excited about this one as I'll show you guys how I created an original 3D character based on my own concept sketch using Womp. If you haven't heard about it yet, it's a brand new 3D browser based software that makes it easy and intuitive for anyone to create 3D. It's completely for free and the launch is happening this week, which is very exciting. More about that by the end of this video, but for now, without further ado, let's get started. So when creating an original character, it's really important to gather some inspiration and references. Here's my mood board that I created for this character using Photoshop. As you can see, it goes from a reference for the pose to character designs and individual elements that I got inspired of. I then drew a sketch of my character in Photoshop. I'm really happy with how the design turned out, even though I made a few changes in 3D, which came naturally along the way or things that were just more suitable for how 3D works compared to 2D. So then, the sketch was enough for me, so I went into Womp to start on bringing him to life in 3D, which I'll be presenting you in a lovely hybrid tablet time-lapse. I mostly create with my graphics tablet, it's just very artistic, intuitive and fun. And I started by creating a basic puppet trying to get the pose right. So here's a look at the finished base of the character. Curves with roundness put on edges makes it very easy to create arms and legs. Let's go on with defining the body. Here again, for making some really nice looking sleeves, curves are the way to go. Just very easy, we can use two points and then make it whole with a negative rounded cylinder. After adding some lovely details, I then went on to create the hat, which I was quite excited about, mainly because of the edgy curves that Womp allows. It's kind of like my favorite feature. And in general, curves are so amazing because of what we can do with the unlimited points, we can make the individual points thicker, thinner, have color gradients, and so much more. The lower shape of the hat was the rather tricky part, but I think it didn't turn out too bad. Let's have a look.
Now, the amazing thing once we have applied our materials is that we can quickly just edit them, change the color and see how that looks. What I also did is duplicate the base color material, apply that to the folds I created and then give that a slightly different color to it so it gives it some shading. And then of course it was time to get out my pumpkin. I was looking forward to this and I just used an asset that I created for my Womp pumpkin tutorial. Place it in the right spot, scale it a little bit and put a light in it. And now look at that, I was really happy with how that looks. But now let's finish it up with some final lighting and details. Here's a look at the final render. I'm really happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below or help on sharing this video. And if you're on fire to give Womp a try for yourself now, launch is just happening the next days. You can join us now and start creating completely for free. Feel free to join our Discord server or sign up on the website. All the links are in the description down below. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And happy Halloween!